Do you ever find yourself in a selling situation where things seem to be on track and then for some reason they just fall apart? So often salespeople are doing things that turn the prospect off, but they never get feedback so they don't know what they're doing wrong. In a lot of ways it's like dating. If you go on a date and you do something that the other person doesn't like, they're not going to give you specific feedback on how you can be better the next time. They just disappear and ghost. It's the same thing in sales. So in this video, I'm going to show you 10 things sales prospects hate about you, or at least most salespeople. Check it out. Number one, extended chit chat. I cannot tell you how many salespeople are trying to do all of this long extended bonding and rapport junk at the beginning of their sales conversations. Your prospects are there for a reason. They don't want to have these long extended chit chats. Get to the point. What they really care about is value that you're going to bring to them, not that you're the most charming human being on the planet. Drop the chit chat. Number two, getting an immediate pitch. There are so many salespeople out there who are basically doing the equivalent of opening up their jacket pocket and saying, hey, look at all the amazing things that we have. I want to show you how we're the best and we've been around for 375 years and we are awesome, right? The reality is, is that your prospects don't need that immediate pitch at the beginning. What we need to do is determine whether they're actually a fit. Think like a doctor, not some cheesy car salesman. Number three, yes, yes, yes. Prospects don't want a yes man or a yes woman. What they want is someone who is going to help them determine if they're the right fit and is going to help them understand the right solution for them. And that means that yes isn't always the right answer. Prospects don't need to just be constantly told yes. What they need is to be taken through a process that helps them really identify what is the solution. Number four, the high enthusiasm. Nobody needs the, hey, we're the best. We're so excited to be here. I love my offering. I love what I do. It's a glorious day. That's some old school stuff that, you know what, many, many years ago, maybe it worked. It probably didn't though. The high enthusiasm thing is so common in sales now that it's like we're just talking to a robot when we're talking to salespeople. We don't need that super high enthusiasm. Just be a normal person who wants to understand the person in front of them. Number five, the long PowerPoint presentation. There is nothing more boring to anyone on the planet than the long PowerPoint presentation. Think of how many movies show scenes where someone is supposed to be bored because they're watching a PowerPoint presentation. It sucks. No one wants it. It's horrible. I don't care if you were the most charismatic, hilarious, charming human being. Your long PowerPoint presentation sucks. So stop doing it. Nobody needs it. Cut that stuff out, get to the point, and really just focus your time on understanding what they need and then presenting only the solution that's relevant to them. Number six, never ending probing questions. Now, this may seem contrary to what I just said, but the reality is that so often in modern selling, we've been taught that we have to ask so many different questions to find out what's going on. That's not true either. We don't want to be asking these never ending probing questions. Do you want the product like this or do you want? What we want to do is just understand their problems. We want to understand what are the challenges that they're looking to overcome and then what is the solution that they're going to need. That is not some never ending list of probing questions. It is a systematic, thoughtful and intentional series of questions that's going to help you determine exact fit. Number seven, high pressure close. We have all dealt with salespeople that have tried to use some cheesy high pressure clothes on us. And when you get down to the bottom of it, we all see it coming from a mile away. We can feel it on the little hairs on the back of our neck. We know when it happens and all it's doing is actually hurting the sale. So drop the high pressure clothes and instead focus on creating real value throughout your conversation. So that way, by the end of the conversation, there's no need for a high pressure close. It's just about next steps. Number eight, month end discounts. This is really common in places like the software space or particularly with bigger organizations that really have, let's say they're publicly traded and so they've got month end goals that they have to hit. And so then at the end of the month, it's all about getting discounts. It's like, okay, 
what kind of discount can we give to this person to close this deal? Month end discounts are actually, according to the data, correlative with lowering the close rates over all of our sales. Your prospects are going to feel kind of dirty being offered a month end discount because it's like, well, why couldn't I have gotten the discount before? Or why can't I get the discount later? Because they know that they're going to get the discount later. So drop this month end or quarter end discount stuff or end of year discount. Just be straight with your prospects. Number nine, checking in. There is nothing more annoying to prospects than to have a salesperson who's just consistently checking in to see how things are going, to see if anything's changed. When you call your prospects or when you reach out to your prospects, have purpose. Don't just check in. Nobody wants that stuff. That's value for you as the salesperson. But as the prospect, there's no value that you're bringing to the table when someone's just checking in. So instead, have real intentional purpose every time you reach out to your prospects or even clients for that matter. Number 10, email blasts. Now, this is a personal one for me, but there is nothing that annoys me more about certain salespeople than when they just put me on their email blast list for no reason. You can send intentional, thoughtful, personalized emails to your prospects all day long. That's great. But if you're just putting your prospects on some big form blast list where you're sending out discounts or you're, you're including lots of pictures on it and you're just putting it on this like marketing list, if your prospects signed up for it, great. But otherwise, send out intentional and personalized and thoughtful independent emails to each person. That's real value. But just email blasts, that is not doing you or them any favors. So there are 10 things sales prospects hate about you, or at least most salespeople. Yeah.